and welcome back to another installment of WCCF Tech Lab and this is Keith once again and today we're going to take a look at Doom once again with the FX 8350 except this time due to comments that we got on a previous video where we compared the 8350 and the i5 6400 and Doom performance uh, there were a lot of questions regarding the memory speed that was used on the FX 8350 we used DDR3 1600 megahertz uh, mostly because we did have a larger kit of RAM we had 16 gigs instead of 8 gigs I had an 8 gig kit of DDR3 uh, 2400 megahertz but I did find that the Corsair Vengeance kit that I had overclocked fairly well so we revisited and compared memory speeds and its effect on the gameplay using the GTX 980 Ti now the system we used was the FX8350, the ASUS game, Pro Gaming, the 970 Aura, and we used a 4x4 gigabyte kit of DDR3 Corsair Vengeance um, LP. Now, I ran it at four different settings. We ran DDR3 1600 megahertz, and at 1600 megahertz, CL999.24 for 1866 we used 910.10.24 timings 2133 we used 10 11 11 30 and 2400 we used 11 12 12 31 and the reason we used these specific timings were and these were the most common timing sets for each memory speed uh, it wouldn't have been a fair comparison had we used the same timings for each speed or you know we had to keep it as fair as possible with real world settings now looking at the settings we had the game set to ultra preset and SMAA for anti-aliasing at 1080p now running through the same scenario three times with each memory setting and taking the average um, average FPS the average 1% lows and the average 0.1% lows we see that the 1600 megahertz landed us with 90 fps in this scenario that we used which is being played out in the background uh, with a 66 meg uh, fps low one percent and a 58.1 percent low now bumping up to 1866 we got a fair gain off that i mean it did go up to 95 fps with much better lows on the 1% and 0.1%. Now interestingly enough, 2133 didn't yield very much over the 60, 1600 megahertz and we've seen this in the past quite f frequently with 2133 and I don't know why and it quite frankly may require a little bit more digging but going up to 2400 megahertz got us just above where the 1866 was showing that either 1866 or 2400 especially for this game specifically are kind of like your best case scenarios so you know the readers were right and the commenters were right in the sense that 1600 megahertz did affect the 8350 and that it couldn't perform to its full potential but 2133 didn't yield a whole lot of benefit over it 1866 was kind of the best case scenario in my opinion so if you're running that megahertz you're getting about the best you can we did run the CPU at stock speed so 4 gigahertz with a 4.2 turbo so in case you were wondering about that well guys, uh, that was the results of our test and hopefully that helped clear up some things with that and we'll catch you guys in the next one. Mm -hmm.